Ah yes, the family tree. Remember when you had to draw one for school? You had to give the name of your paternal and maternal grandparents, your parents, your aunts and uncles and siblings. And then at the base of the trunk it was you, even though you might have been the older brother. But none of that. It was simple, right? Except in my culture. You see, in my culture there's this level up system. One of the rank ups being that if your mom, specifically mother, and her sister both had children, you and them do not become cousins. No, 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 no. You don't become mega cousins. You don't become ultra cousins. You don't become bung cousins. You don't become maximum over cousins. No, you just, you level up to siblings. I don't know why, just, they call you brother now. Or sister. That's weird, isn't it? I think it's weird. And then the second level up system is with your parents. If your parents have cousins, you don't call them mega cousin or bang cousin or maximum over cousin. No, they become your aunt and uncle. I have more aunts and uncles than my parents actually have siblings. Which is a roundabout way to talk about my grand aunt. She's a nice sweet old lady and an absolute dynamo. She never runs out of energy. She wakes up at the crack of dawn every day without fail to go to go start a fire and tend to it with a cup of tea in hand like she did in the old days, you know, where horse carriages were everywhere. Lightning was harnessed by wizards and warlocks and I think I drew it off here. One day while she's tending a fire, you know, like she does, she asks me to go and wait for the postman. Because apparently in her area, some randos jack your mail if you're not quick enough. Just, they steal your mail. I don't know why. They just take it. Oh, by the way, she said all of this in Betty, but I am not in the mood to put subtitles. And my Betty's not strong enough. And I'm pretty sure it's non-existent at this point. But anyway, so I'm sitting at the door of the house, waiting for a solid hour for the mailman. And lo and behold, tis the mailman doing his mailman things, left the mail and buggers off. And now I have to make the journey to the gate. And when I say journey, I mean journey. It's a 90 meter, 90, 90 meters from the front door to the front gate. And now I have to get up and walk all the way to the gate. I'm pretty sure someone's asking, why didn't you wait at the gate? There's no shade at the gate. I don't want to burn because it was the middle of summer. And the sun rises quick in that part of the area. But anyway, as I'm proceeding to the gate, I see a rando appear. And he's heading to the same gate I'm heading to. So then I don't even question it at this point. I drop my head immediately and start flash running towards the gate. He does the same and the battle has started. We went plus ultra that morning. But unfortunately for him, I didn't give it all my hustle. I was the hustle. I got to the gate, grabbed that male, stared him deep in the eyes. We saw eye to eye to eye, had my specs on at the time. I flapped the male in his face and walked off. Triumphant. Let the trumpets blare my wisdom. I mean victory. And then my grand aunt appears out of the back, greets the young gent and asks, Hey, did you get your mail? So it turned out that that guy had the job when I wasn't around and he thought I was a male thief, even though I was in the yard. But hey, anyway, I apologized, gave him his mail and I continued on to my day. I do see that guy around, but we've never been on talking terms. My grand aunt still, still doing her grand aunt thing, being a boss. And I enjoyed the day, I guess, because I got to thrash a rando on the foot race. And established my dominance. Yeah. All in all a pretty good holiday. But anyway. Like. Comment and subscribe. And share the video. It really helps the channel. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Good morning. Good evening. And good night. Bye.